So I noticed that the floor was wet around the pressurizer so I did kind of an investigation, cleaned it up and saw that the uh, pressure gauge was uh, weeping. So you can see a little rust in there and you can see it's at 50. I've got a 30-50 system so that's good. <clears throat> so I'm going to go ahead and replace the uh, pressure gauge and then I also looked at the pressure regulator and since it's 24 years old I decided to replace that so I didn't think they were very expensive so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, replace the pressure regulator since I'm gonna take the system down anyway so let's get at it alright so I have my hose hooked up I'll shut off the house shut off the pump now I'll open up the valve and uh, bleed off the uh, pressurizer now oh, my valves leaking here too maybe I'll fix that and maybe I mean I will Alright, I need to take the hose off to get access to the pressure gauge here, which looks like it's going to be really tough. So, so, here's my cheater, and I needed it. Alright, gauge is off. Alright, next is the uh, valve here. I'm going to take this apart what's going on here so it's this gasket right here that I need to replace so this is like uh, the packing seal alright I got my new uh, gasket in there new packing uh, the other one was like really dry rotted it was almost like packing material in there so anyway, I have it all lubed up with a non-petroleum lubricant, and I shall reassemble it. Yeah, yeah that's tight now. Hopefully I can get it on there. Just kind of put some pressure on it. Work it on there, yeah, it's going. Wow, I actually have to screw it on. Kind of judging how tight, uh, the tighter you put the top nut on, the, the tighter the packing is around the stem. And I don't want to get it too tight that I can't uh, open the valve. So just kind of snug it down so it doesn't leak. Call that good, and I can always readjust it. All right, on to the pressure gauge. Get the pressure gauge in there. Being careful not to cross thread it. That should do it. So with the system down and drained, I'm going to check the uh, pressurizer, make sure it's okay. As you can see, it was manufactured in 1991, <laughs> and it should be 30 PSI. So let's see what we have. All right, I'm reading uh, 31, so that's pretty good. Okay, so we have the pressurizer at the 30 pounds, actually 31. We have our new gauge installed and now it's time to replace the regulator. And after doing some homework, I'm at 3050 and that is where most residents are. Uh, there's really no reason to go to 4060. That's usually commercial 
or if you have like second story or some other pressure issue. So I do not. So it's just going to be a straight swap out. Make sure everything's turned off and I'll start taking it apart. All right, there it is with all the connections stripped away. It's kind of tedious to fish all that stuff in there and all all through here and get it all attached to the ground and the connectors and all that. So that's that's fun. Yeah. It's like that's the way it's going to be. So, I see my problem. The uh, standpipe there is full of sediment. So that's definitely going to affect things. Alright, so I took my pick and got it in the standpipe there. And I have my wet dry vacuum cleaner and I poked it out till I hit the bottom of the pipe here and then I turned on the valve and sucked through here and also of course I was holding it up here the whole time and hopefully I sucked out some of the debris now I know it's between these two <laughs> valves here or should I say this pipe and this valve because my sediment filter is way downstream so anyway, it's all cleared out, so it should initially start up well. Also, I'm going to have my electricals on this side instead of on the other side because it's uh, easier to hook up. <laughs> so there is the ground. So I'm ready to do the power side, so I'm going to feed it through. I already have the ground wire curled over the way I want it. So I'll feed in my line and then I'll put in my locking ring the way it needs to go in. Uh, the other one had serrades on it to uh, lock up against this panel here and this one just fits into here almost like a male female kind of thing. Now just kind of lock that in place here. that nice and secure tighten down my screws alright got my wires all hooked up I kinda of bent them a little bit so the top could go on nice and neat you just tighten this little screw down here but I'm going to watch it cycle a few times so it's now it's the smoke test I'm going to turn the power back on see what happens Pressure's going up, and it stopped right on the mark. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Very happy. So, if it wasn't for the leaky gauge, I probably wouldn't have replaced the regulator and fixed the problem. I knew there was a problem with this well. I just couldn't figure out what the heck it was, and we were getting water, so uh, I didn't suspect the pressure regulator. So. Anyway, oops, that's the old one. So now that we have that problem solved, uh, we can go back to uh, showering and doing everything, laundry and all that good stuff. So now that this is going back together here, I don't know what size this is, a lot smaller than the original one. There we go. Uh, so I'll just. Uh, Stay down here for a few minutes and check for leaks.